It's the deadliest nature disaster in the nation's history. Bird flu is spreading across Israel, devastating flocks both domestic and wild. This is the worst blow to wildlife in Israel ever. There are thousands of cranes which already died, and we still don't know the spread amongst other wildlife or water sources. This is a contagious disease which hurts humans too. I built this place with my bare hands for 40 years. Everything is destroyed, absolutely destroyed. I have no livelihood. I have nothing. More than 5,000 dead wild cranes and pelicans have been counted in northern Israel's Hula Lake Reserve, a major stopping point along the birds' migration route from Europe to Africa, which sees the passage of hundreds of thousands of birds annually. There are 20,000 pelicans missing, and no one really knows where they are. The cranes are now being hit. 20% of the population of the cranes in Israel has been hit and killed by the bird flu. How can we help? Yesterday, the corpses of the dead cranes were removed to prevent further infection. But as for concrete steps, no one has a real solution, and everybody's waiting and hoping that this death cycle will stop, because every day we find more cases of cranes killed by the bird flu. In farming communities in northern Israel, more than half a million chickens and turkeys have been culled as the virus spreads rapidly. The whole village makes a living from these coops. Each has 2,500 birds. This is what we live from. That's what we have. They have cleared all the coops, not even one chicken left. This is an unprecedented situation. The veterinary service at Israel's Ministry of Agriculture has declared a state of emergency admonishing farmers for not reporting outbreaks sooner, allowing the virus to spread. The country is expected to experience a shortage of 14 million eggs per month for the near future. The government moving to increase egg imports in an effort to head off the shortage. We heard about the shortage of eggs. Of course, we brought in more goods. We also heard from customers who are coming in to buy more eggs. We also talked to the suppliers and were told that the shortage of eggs has already started. Consumers are advised to check for a seal of inspection and to cook all poultry products thoroughly. Meanwhile, nature reserves are closed to visitors to limit contact with humans and prevent further spread. The fear is that it will infect more birds that are in danger of being extinct. We're at the height of the worst ecological disaster in Israel. It's a disaster of global proportions. We can still not evaluate the future implications of this giant ecological disaster, the bird flu. The virus has been documented in more than 40 different countries since July. Meanwhile, here in Israel, it's a race against time for damage control and to stop the spread. Jesse Satin, I-24 News.